Right, no rest for the wicked, and we will get going with Super Mario Maker 2. And as usual, I will be playing the levels you people right in the chat. So let me just find where the hell I put my phone so I can actually read the chat. Because as I, the way I heard it, I kind of need that one. So that I can follow what is going on here. Now, if everything goes smoothly, there will be absolutely no feedback from the microphone, and I hope that's true. And uh, because I still need to hear what's going on with the television and everything. So, uh, just give me one more second, and I will have eyes on the chat. And there's the chat, and we are good to go from this point onward. So we're not playing this level, instead we are heading on to Course World. And your wonderful courses. Of course we're going to check our notifications first. Uh, there are people who are gonna make an obvious joke about notifications what, but looks like someone actually claimed one of my codes for don't move from the back which is an actually pretty yeah this it's this one and he base I can't even say what kind of um, world record that must have been because that must have been a really quick run However, let's go to the courses, and the first course that I have promised to play today, it is the one made by a friend of mine. And just, why don't I... Yeah, there we go. Uh, I suppose. So, we're heading up to uh, our favorite map makers. And I obviously need to... Oh, look, we've actually missed a couple of courses made by my friend here and i can only assume it's a uh, super fun run that uh, he actually do want us to run so i see no other other um, reason to just get going let's see i think i played on of shutdown and it made me obviously deranged Then we have Fomp and Stomp and 35 Smoking Bills. Then we have Off to the End. Um, I'm not really familiar with Super Mario 3D World, so let's just go to Off to the End. And see what the hell he got going for us here. His levels are usually tricky, but... I mean, in a finicky kind of way, and oh god, it's a big buff! Ah! Good big buff, I did not... Oh god, it's coming back! It's the apocalypse! Fish kind has come to eliminate us! Go away! I don't want to be... ...eaten by a fish! I really... No! Why are there more of them? No! No, 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 no. <sighs> God damn it. So many fish. Why are there so many fish? Aren't there seals eating the fish? Buy fish. Let's see if we can get a, at least... Yeah, mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom are for eating, not fishing. Bye bye, bye now. I really like how we're like noses up in the water here. Oh, nice! I, I want no! Give me, give it to me. Death to fish! Why are there so many goddamn fish here? This almost looks like a remake of the first Super Mario 3 level, but with fish. I mean, just tell me if I'm wrong. We got it. 
I mean, it looks like almost exactly like one of the first Super Mario. Oh god. That's what I get for thinking I actually won something here. No! Mushroom! Life insurance this way! Come on. Alright, so apparently we need to find our way through the darkness here. And I am absolutely positive that this level. Ref yeah, th this level, level absolutely is very similar, if not identical, to the f Super Mario. The second Super Mario Brothers level, the one in the basement, or the tunnel, the one where you can basically walk on the roof if you like. But it's basically with fish instead of anything else, so I think we act what we actually triggered there, it wasn't as- it was- it was a checkpoint. I mean, that's actually kind of brilliant. I, I- and of course, that also means that if we sw oh, come on, I can't- I can't swim on the roof. Come on, Hannes. You, if if you gotta re repl replicate this level, you have to replicate the fact that you can run under run on the roof. Running on the roof is what made this level back in the days. And the fact that I got, yeah. So he actually tricked me with that. I I thought that would would be an ending. But it would not be. So we're heading down here, and of course, going to try and grab that delicious, delicious mushroom. Course, trying to actually avoid the fish is going to be tricky. I'm not worried about time because I'm already. There is all, always going to be some power player who's gonna do better than me. But oh god, come on, I want the mushroom! Good, we have mushroom. Doing some shrooms underwater. Yes, that makes just about as much sense as you would expect it to do. And we lost it because I got very greedy in terms of. Ah, Goddamn jellyfish. By the way, if you have a code for me, you can start typing them at any time. Because this particular level is one that I've picked from my favorite course makers. So if you want to torture me, now is pretty much a as good time as any. Yes! Delicious shrooms! Come on! I mean, trying to be... I don't really know how to avoid those jellyfish in an efficient manner. Especially not when I have like these regular fish in front. And I still can't go up on the roof. God damn it. No! God damn it. It doesn't help that I can absolutely see I can't absolutely see anything here. But I must still say that the general idea of taking the first two Super Mario stages, putting them underwater and giving them a slight post-apocalyptic feel, that's actually a really good idea. I love that idea. The, I don't love the fact that there are bloody fish everywhere. God damn it. No! Go away from me. I don't want to be eaten by a fish today. I just want to eat my mushroom alone. Thank you. Like any reasonable Italian. Uh, disclaimer, not an actual Italian. Never me or Mario for that sake. So... No, that did not work. It was a nice idea that had no bearing in reality. And of course, just deadly to the touch right there. Haven't gotten any codes in the chat so far, so obviously we will be continuing with this until I do. Or until I complete it and can move on. Come off it. Got it? So we're moving upwards. 
a no 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 god damn it I honestly don't see any reason any way I can actually avoid the squids. I don't see a good way to do it. I mean, they can pass through walls. I can't. They can also see where the fuck I'm going in a far better manner than I can. No! We actually managed to progress and I run into that fucking fish. I mean, these fish have seriously start- seriously starting to annoy me at this point. But yeah, I think trying to move in a standard manner on this- on this map is not something I should do. Rather, I should try to, as, m as much as possible, move- ah, fuck it, that did not work at all. Nope, that did not work. So yeah, the, I never like underwater levels. I mean, there's one exception. One, and that's not even Mario. The only uh, underwater level that I like... And now I just got sloppy. Uh, the only underwater level that I actually and truly like... Um, that would be... Uh, that would be, um, Labyrinth Zone from Sonic. Labyrinth Zone from the first Sonic is one I really like, and that is mostly due to the music. Now, if you... begging your pardon, I will need to check on my microphone levels here. I will need to check the sound levels here. And I will actually tone down the Mario sound a little bit so you guys can hear me better. And uh, I don't know how the sound have been so far, but I'm guessing it hasn't been great. I'm guessing you have barely been able to hear me talk. So I've been I've been setting down the volume levels for the recording card. And the reason is that first of all, let's give a big like to this. Uh, and the re the reason that I had it set away from my usual levels is actually because I, I was playing Pokemon, or rather I was recording my first go at the Elite Four. And since since I was doing that, I... No! Squid away from me! God damn it. No! So many bloody fish! Why are there all the fish? My clearance time for this is not going to be flattering. Then again, I consider myself somewhat biased with my friend's map. I'm not... I mean, if I'm... I'm not really supposed to uh, be the first one who clears them because, you know, as far this part is actually trickier if you. No, I still can't get up there. No, I'm trapped, trapped by horrible squid. I'm still of the opinion that he should have programmed so you could be... So that you could have uh, actually floated on, on the roof. Now, there better not be any more fucking fish. No! There were more fish! I told the game, please, no more fish. God damn it. And I was actually getting somewhere, too. 
And now I'm just getting sloppy. So I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and if I if I fail, I fail. But it's going to be fun either way. Come off it. Of course, I'll have to I'll have to mention that um, this final attempt comes with the premise of God damn it! Why does that keep happening to me? Silly squid! Be stop being squids! Also, same for you, Big Burfus. Stop being Big Burfus. Just be regular, goddamn, non-threatening fish. I mean, this level would only be half as annoying without the fish. And what would be even even better would be if this level was not in complete, utter fucking darkness. I think I know where I am now, at least. Yes, I should be very close to the end. Oh, it's not the end of the stage. Oh, thank god, it actually is. We actually did it. It took us a while. It took us a long while. But we cleared that fucker. First clear, nine minutes! And no, we are not starting that one over. We are absolutely not starting that one over. But seriously, this is actually one I will download. And the reason I will download it is because... I've downloaded a couple of maps here, including the first map I ever played and cleared in this game. But I really like the idea of the of a post-apocalyptic Super Mario Brothers level. So try to speed through the course in in one run as fast as possible. God damn it, this is not gonna end well. This is gonna end with me in horrible pain. Like I said, if you have level codes, just type them in the chat. Wrong way. Oh, uh, that was probably supposed to go there. go. Yeah. At least now we know a bit what we're up against. It started off, hello Chris Boy 18 nice to see you. God damn it. Come off it. There we go. And you, Mr. Red, will serve me. There we go. Yes, you may of course submit a level. I can't uh, promise I'll uh, I will complete it, but I promise you I will give it my best to try. I will play it right after I either complete it or come got too frustrated with this one. So just write your level in the chat, and I will get right on it. Now, if I sound a bit strained, it's because I'm keeping tabs on the chat and. And, um, thank you. No! Why did I do that twice? God damn it. I'll give this a couple of more tries, and then I'll get straight to your level. Since this is a speedrunning level, uh, sometimes I get the impression that it's going to be smooth sailing, but no, it's not going to be. Okay, this time we triggered the thumper. We're not even gonna go go try for the coin this time. Okay, so no, god damn it. Okay, so two more tries. I'm gonna give this two more tries because hardness is usually a competent enough map maker. So it usually takes me more tries than 
God damn it. Now I'm just getting sloppy. That's actually the worst kinds with these levels. When you know part of a level so good that this stuff happens. And when I say this stuff, I mean when I get so sloppy that the parts of the level that I know and should have no problem with are stuff that... <sighs> Alright, one final try. One final try. And the reason I keep saying one final try is because sometimes when I say one final try, I actually make it on the f on on that final try. I have no hopes that this will be one of those cases, though. We're not gonna grab the 10 coin, because honestly, we don't need it, but, um... What... <sighs> I was gonna, just gonna go and grab some, some jump. But now, a promise is a promise. I do actually like it, but we're gonna exit the course and we'll play Chris Boy 18's course. I might return to that later if uh, I don't find any other courses to play, but... Uh, we 8 d 66 dd one six away from being the dev le level of the devil, 1HG. Let's hope that HG is for high grade, eh? So yeah, each path has the other 19 coins needed. Pick your poison. Oh, and the world record is uh, 24, 22 seconds with a zero point... Uh, was that zero point seven D clear rate? The clear check time was 45 seconds. It has 13 likes. Uh, Times played is 56. No multiplayer versus matches played. And um, yeah. And it's from the good United States of America. Pick your poison, goddammit. The only pick your poison I want is the one in top shot. That Then pick your poison means pick your guns. Okay, so what? what's the poison... At least I'm not alone in dying there. Okay, so we got the bills and we got the whistles. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get the feeling that th the good l luck is something I will actually need. God damn it! Why do they fly? I mean, you. The jumping is one thing because you, you you expect the jumping, you expect them to keep to to uh, keep trying to fly upwards, so you compensate for that. But what you what I never come. I should just <laughs> yeah. I should basically just not pick. Yeah, trying to make up my mind of what path to go is actually going to be very tricky here. Because I don't want... To... Okay, so I think I've come to a conclusion of what I need to do. Uh, at least if this works the way I hope it does, but of course it's probably gonna, not gonna do that. And no, I'm not gonna die from a bullet bill. That was tempting fate. That was just tempting fate. I should keep my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> that was just too perfect. That was just too bloody perfect. I forgot to jump. All right, so I usually don't make a good lasting impression with other people's levels, but Okay, so at least now we are somewhat safe. I'm gonna wait for their next pattern here. Actually, let's wait for the next one. And once they're down... <laughs> of course, that was going to happen. But at least we made progress. <sighs> That's just unlucky. Alright, let's try that again. 
it's, it's what I told you about earlier. The parts of our... You can never get complacent in Super Mario. Basic... Basically... Ah, oh, crap. I couldn't get out of there in time. Basically what happens, and that is, an, that is actually very annoying, is that you get, you get so complacent with the parts of a map you know, that you forget the element essentials. And when it comes to learning lessons, I'm a very practical person. However, the theoretical part doesn't always stay with me. Okay, so, good enough. I'll wait for them to come down. Good, we... and... The ball and... Ch the old ball and chain here is going to be a horrible problem, I'm sure. As stated. <sighs> Baby steps. Baby steps. And then you know there's, like, people who can clear stuff like this in 20 seconds flat. That kind of makes this feel... Ah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, complacency. That's all, the, that's all there is. So... Couldn't get up there. <laughs> yeah. This is getting somewhat annoying. I can understand why this is such a low clear rate. But at least the clear rate makes me feel better. And I have to say, this is by far not the worst level that has ever been submitted to me. I think there was one called Bowser's, Bowser's Castle that was probably taking the piss in how many fireballs they would allow. Like I said, complacency. You, I feel so safe in the monotone in what I'm doing right there. That I do not, for some reason, think that it's going to be a problem. And of course it's going to be, because I keep jumping down at exactly the wrong time. Because even I might even pretend to myself that I've nailed down their pattern, but no, I haven't done that. I don't consciously think about those flowers' pattern. Yeah, that didn't work. But yeah. At least we did it in something. Ah, crap. Gotta say, the music doesn't help. The music is very... Like... Ah, god damn it. If I had just timed... Well, maybe I'm... I think I'm approaching this a li little bit the wrong way. First of all, I should really get that one done. The first thing I do. And then I should t basically take cover. We're coming up with a plan here, people. A plan to beat the literally first screen of this game. And I'm not sticking to it. I'm not sticking to the plan. I should stick to the plan. We have to stick to the plan. Alright, so once they've jumped up once, there we go. Ah, did not clear that. Oh, come off it. 
Okay, they jump up, and I failed my part of the plan, but it doesn't matter. Now they come up there. Ah, crap, I thought I would have enough time. I keep thinking I will have enough time to do that, and I don't. But yeah, hopefully I got this. But I have to say that these kind of levels that actually... F <laughs> these kind of levels that force me to think about what I'm doing is uh, always more fun than uh, levels I can clear easily. I mean, I sometimes get sent levels that... I, that I can clear fairly easy, and I don't like those levels, or rather, I like them for what they are. Uh, but people have been using Mario as a semi-platform puzzle for quite a while now, and especially since the first Super Mario Maker. <sighs> now I'm just getting sloppy. I've never been good at talking and playing at the same time. Which is kind of bad if you if you like to stream your gameplay and then talk into a microphone. And this is just getting ridiculous at this point. I don't think it's the, my record for most attempts. I think my record for most attempts on a single map was 90 of them. And here's the thing: I keep making the same mistake. I know this. And, for some reason, I don't seem to be able to av I don't seem to be able to avert it. It doesn't help that I keep missing the on-off thing. Okay, so now we wait for the flowers to come down. As you can see, my plan is basically this. My plan is to... Uh, Get the coins, all of them, because I kind of suspect I need to do that. And then retreat into the safety of the newly opened wall. And once I've done so, I will either fall back... But I, I never seem to time the jumps with the piranha flowers. And that's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, that was never gonna work. And the same thing! How can I keep repeating the same mistake? I mean, that is just infuriating, because I shouldn't. At this point, one would think that I remember I can't get away with that. That I have to basically jump in the middle of it. Okay, so now, we, now we're... Okay. That doesn't give me... That! There we go. Okay, so now it's just a flying fucker of a goomba. And those fucking things. Okay, and obviously we needed that turtle. <laughs> a bomb would also have made... Uh, ...been fine, but... And now I have to do it all over again. For some reason, I don't... F ah... And I timed that completely incorrectly. But with <sighs> it's also this thing when you actually do progress in a stage. I don't know if you you uh, know what I mean, but sometimes when you do have difficulty with a game and you do a progress, I mean actual actual progress from the part you've been struggling with, 
what happens then is that you basically... Pr sometimes you progress far, sometimes you only progress far enough to... To, you know, be... And then almost every single attempt afterwards, at least for me... Ah, crap. At least every single... Not really every single attempt, but most of the attempts are directly after you progressed from that part you were struggling. Especially if there's no s way to save it. If there's any way to save it, you usually... I'm just gonna give this a couple of more tries, but... Uh, because I'm honestly thinking this level might be beyond my... <sighs> yeah, now I'm just getting frustrated. And sloppy. Very sloppy. So I'm going to give this a couple of more tries. Ah, crap. Not only did I reactivate it when I shouldn't have... <sighs> Go. At least I can time my jumps in with theirs. Okay, we have progressed to this part. No! Silly turtle, you were supposed to serve me, not kill me. And now I was looking at the chat, so the Goomba got me. So, I'm gonna give it a... What, not really one more try, because I won't be able to keep that promise. But I'm going to try... A few more... Tr a few more times. Because I have this little weird obsession that... Especially in Mario levels, I'm like... This is fucking Mario, it shouldn't be challenging. And of course, Mario can be fucking challenging. As pretty much this has been the consistent topics of this stream. The fact that Mario levels can be very challenging. And I like that. Uh, because, I mean, it, it, you take such a simple premise as Mario that people have grown up with. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a like at least, because at least the level is well fought over, but it's not really something that is within my capability to complete. So, until we get, um, and I actually, uh, there was something else there. Nah, you had only made one course, otherwise I would be glad to, uh, try another one of your courses, but, uh, we'll return to Super Thump Run and see if we can make some headway on that until someone gives me a new code in the chat. I mean, at least this, uh, after the last map, at least this makes me feel good. No! Now it, now it doesn't make me feel good at all. Alright, so uh, I'll be I will be keeping my eyes open for that new course. I also like how coins can be used to guide the player. If you watch here, not only the the, the coins arc quite beautifully with So, we got up there, and Red Shell there will be put to work. Good, and bye-bye, Red Shell. Here is the part I died at earlier. And the fact that I died there means I need to... Oh, I can actually trick... I can actually trick them for at least a bit, and... <laughs> oh, I don't know why that's why I expected another outcome. 
I keep jumping too soon, and I'm kind of curious as to why it hasn't bitten me in the ass yet. So, turtles be gone. Okay, so basically what happened there was I jumped far too soon. And there I jumped at an angle, meaning that I basically doomed myself. Okay. So, as long as I clear the first one and complete the entire circuit there in haste, I should be good on this. I think that 10 level, 10 one is just bait though. No, I have actually never played Donkey Kong 64. Uh, I did play a lot of Nintendo 64. I still consider the Nintendo 64 to be one of Nintendo's greatest consoles. Uh, but when I had a 64, it was the space games that I liked. It was Lilith Wars, Star Fox, and it was uh, Rogue Squadron, and it was Shadows of the Empire. So, I never actually played Super Mario 64. It was, of course, Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart, of course, but those are staples. But, but I kind of feel like I was missing out. Because when it comes to the 3D Mario games, I mean, I have Super Mario Odyssey for the Switch, and what I've seen of it so far, I absolutely adore. And I don't play it. And I can't even explain to myself why. I think I need a vacation or something where I am without a... without the... Uh, internet. If I have that, then I might take the time to play through Super Mario Odyssey. In regards to the Switch as a console, however, I can only say I wish I'd bought it sooner. I mean, I wish, I truly wish <sighs> I did not have enough momentum in the jumps there. If I just had more momentum in the jumps, that damn it. Up we go. I mean, this part so far is not really a no-brainer, but I get it done efficiently. Oh, and out of all the jumps there, I didn't jump that one quick enough. Or hard enough, depending on... Oh, and there I actually jumped, so... Like I said, complacency is my foe. Get back here, I have a job for you. There we go. God damn it, I don't seem to be able to jump that fast enough. It's kind of annoying when you jump stuff like that. And... Oh, come on. Drifting, of course, is just annoying at this stage in the game. Farewell to you, Mr. Turtle, that I never liked. No! I think I have a solution for this. And it involves a different set of controls. Because right now I'm controlling Mario with the... <laughs> oh, that didn't work. I was going to say I control the Mario with uh, the joypad. Instead of with the buttons on the controller. And I think that was actually... Uh, that actually contributed to the problem. So what I have to do up here is actually I have to switch controls. No! 
And while thinking about the strategy, I forgot about that bastard. That fucking fucking bastard. But yeah, I think I have to consider a change of... A horrible change of... Uh, controls for this part. And if I can do that, then maybe... Almost! It worked... I would actually say it worked in theory. But what I did, I picked away the Joy-Con. And instead I was using the up button on the controller. And it worked. Damn it! And I got distracted again. Of course I got distracted again. So, for this part, I'm still using the joystick on my assembled two Joy-Cons. And then I jump up, I kill Turtle, I sacrifice the Turtle to the Smash Gods. May they bring me glow, eternal glory. Here, I switch control pattern. No! Horrible doom is mine! And the reason I do it is because I want that first... I want that jump to be precise. Pristine. I want that jump to be... Take me upwards. Of course, that is not gonna, going to work as much. Because while it works on the first two, that thing slides. Okay, so... Yes, we actually did it! No! I didn't keep my speed up. We managed to get through it, and I didn't keep my speed up. Well, at least we have a working proof of concept now. Horror! What with the fucking Goombas? Oh, we're supposed to go the other way? <sighs> At least he made me a checkpoint. But I kind of... God damn it. Now th this is gonna wreak havoc on what I was hoping would be an actual honest to god record time. But no, now it's going to take me longer and longer. But at least now I'm confident in what I have to do. No! Confidence! Confidence! I do, however, like how he have built this. How he basically says, Yes, getting there is going to be easy, but getting away from there is not going to be easy at all. I like that. So people, I'm still accepting your codes if you have them. Uh, I'm ready to move on from this. While I'm still progressing, I still feel that I might need a slight change of pace from dying on this shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait for more codes to be just written in the chat. And I'm still going to...
Maybe have a sip of water as well. <laughs> Couldn't break. Basically, I need to keep my speed up because once I... I can't slow down. Gotta go fast! Oh! And of course I slide down the last one. I mean, now it's just sloppy gameplay from me. At least that's how I feel it to be. I mean, I spend so much time failing on these streams that I kind of feel like a, I'm a bad Mario player. Maybe there's some truth in that. And at least... <laughs> so far, no one has been uh, the kind of person to say that to my face. But I have to say, that's how I feel after playing levels such as this. And I know that m many of these levels are tailored to the creator's vision. To what the, the creator wants to do. And this part annoys me especially because what I need to do is very straightforward. I mean, it, it's not like there are some of those puzzles levels. I seen where you that were trying to trick you or anything like that. Yeah, I have to remember I can't actually stop. Once I speed up, there is no stopping. I need to remember that. No! And the worst thing about it is, I kind of see, foresee a future where I need to keep... Okay, so... No! Why was there another block? Silliest of blocks! I don't know why, but I so did not anticipate there would be another block on the return trip. I did not expect that. I mean, I basically felt that, hey, now it's, we're in the clear, I can take my time on this. Nope. No! Okay, so getting, getting back is going to be tricky as hell. In fact, I, w I would say that getting back is going to be trickier than getting there. And the reason for that is, of course, getting there only requires me to do to r make one precision, precision jump. Getting away from there is now going to require me to make several precision jumps, all with... Oh, and I keep on fucking sliding. I'm so glad he actually put a checkpoint there. Because if he hadn't, uh, I would probably break something at this point. No! I mean, it doesn't really matter that I didn't jump at that point. I would be, I would be dead anyway. But that is part of why it's so annoying. Yeah, I undershot that jump. No! Basically, I think I have to wait for that one. I'll have to do like Queen and wait for the hammer to fall. Small, tiny precision jumps there. No! And I... I slide it the other way! How utterly ridiculous! Yes! I made it back! F fucking ice. The fact that I made it back, of course, is no fucking guarantee for success! It's 
like aliens, but with blocks. Of course I have to redo that entire hunt for that key as well. But at least now I think I know how to handle that one. At least that was... That wasn't bragging. Okay, so let's keep it moving very quick here. No! Get away from me, you hear <laughs> hideous blocks! Yeah, those blocks did not really come from where I expected them to come from. Okay, th this is going to be horrible. Okay. Okay, so ba basically we are now at a stage where... Oh god, it's still slippery. Okay, at least I think I got this part. God damn it, this this is going to be tricky dicky. It doesn't help that I can actually accidentally pick the wrong way either. I mean, it doesn't really... There's a bit of a trickery here where you can go back, but going back here is not the good option. Or is it? To be honest, going back is not the good option. We will just end up back. No! Now I have to do redo that entire thing, and honestly, no. I'm not going to redo that entire thing. So if you have any <coughs> suggestions for courses for me, uh, I might actually start closing this down a bit, um, or rather soon. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse the new portion, uh, the new section here and see if I there's something I think I like my first automatic level from Austria we can try that Super Mario Brothers U oh and we got a code in chat I'll give this a single one attempt and then I'll head for X credibles yeah that attempt was over very very quickly so the last level for tonight will be X credibles level RGS B28 6NG The Mountain of Death, a 90 second speed level to the flagpole. You worthy? No. I would say most likely no. Team. Welcome, arrived. John Constantine. Uh, I'll, since I saw you use the add one, I'll just make sure that John Clark here can give you. Yeah, I've been wasting time. <laughs> Lots of death there. All right, so John Constantine's will be the next one. I don't really see myself spending a lot of time with this horror. I mean, it really looks like I'm not re the only one to die here, so what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna give this a couple of attempts, but I think this is far beyond my skill.
I don't think this is a run I can honestly complete. I mean, at least in the other ones I could at least see a decent path, but here I don't see it. Because the, o the obvious pattern is obviously to bounce off the donut block, but on that donut block is a horrible, horrible turtle. I mean, if I could somehow find... Hmm. And there's not, not any hidden blocks here or anything, no? Alright, we'll try... <sighs> that spin jump did not do it for me. I don't think I actually managed to... Okay. Nope, that spin jump did not... Or rather, that was a failed spin jump. Yeah, I know how to do it. The... The only problem is that I need to practice it, because I... Yeah, there we go. And I've missed the target. Uh, the thing is, I don't have any experience with the more modern Mario games, or Super Mario World for that matter. I'm more... I'm on... And Nintendo entered... <laughs> too high. <laughs> Too low! Like I said, I think this level is far beyond my skills. I gotta give it a couple of more... Uh, it's either too high or too low. My precision is not really good at 10 in the evening. Okay, so, I've learned a couple of things here at least. So at least it's a good learning experience. First of all, spin jumping are in a lower... Yeah, I... <laughs> like I said, my precision is way off. This is this is not critique towards the... <laughs> At least we managed the first portion of it. We managed to get somewhere at least. I'm gonna give this a couple of more tries and then we head for uh, John Constantine's map. What we see here is a common mistake of mine. A really common mistake. And that common mistake is I tend to jump when I don't need to. I would say that out of all my needless deaths in Mario Brothers, out of all my needless deaths in Mario Brothers, quite a lot of them are based around the simple fact that I jump when I don't need to. And that's not that's not Super Mario Makers because the thing is, when I didn't jump, when I just sp kept on spinning here... When I just kept on spinning on the turtles and the flowers and everything... That sounds a little bit like the turtles and the bees and whatnot, but... When I did that, I progressed a lot better th than I did I than if I pushed the jump button. So, this is ba this map is pretty good at weaning me off that annoying, filthy habit. Okay, so basically what I need to do here is... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna move on to John's level for the simple reason that uh, it's getting a bit late here. And uh, I do want to... I do want to play as many levels as possible, and that doesn't always give me the luxury to keep on playing all the levels, the the time span that I would like. So, 2Q1. Two 2FG. Two 2FG. 
2FG usually stands for two flight groups, but that is just my X-Wing. Alright, so John Wick. Hey, I thought it was John Constantine. Could you make up your mind about who you are, please? World record is 0130. It's a puzzle solving. Be careful. And a click rate of 2%. The Maze of the Dungeon. Okay, so it's basically going to be a mix of what we've, what we've seen so far. But I do... That actually worked. Not that it f makes me feel any safer. <laughs> that did not work. At least this was a novel idea. It had every potential to work. I was so into the spin jump that I never realized that would never actually work. <laughs> like I said, keep doing the same mistakes. Same mistakes. I mean, if it's oh, if it at least was different mistakes, then I would at least have an excuse for it. But these are literally me doing the same time over and over again. Ah, come on, I should have been able to jump better than that. Okay, so we'll, we'll trigger the thumper. Next time we'll trigger the thumper so it doesn't collide with the f coincide with the flame. Rather, we trigger it. Okay. There we go. Good start, good start. Now we seem to have a bit of a safe space here. No! Obviously, I need to reactivate that thing. Oh. I activated the thump too early. I absolutely deserve that. Ah, crap. I also just realized something. I don't actually need to activate those on-off things. I only basically need to act to uh, get past the thumper, and then find a decent jump. Ah, fuck it. All right, I'm gonna give this one more try. Then I'll try ex uh, Expendables of a level. Yeah. Sorry, John Wick, but I'm gonna give this the last course for tonight, and that's going to be Excredible second, second level. Q P J to S S V two. Zero G. Yeah, I must have written something wrong there. QPJ SV206 G now. Fortunately, there is an there is another way for me to find that level. Uh, I'll just go into the makeup profile, go into the played courses. And uh, Malice Mountains. Yeah, that's really 
and we'll check the uploaded courses. Okay, so World Record Contest, Flocko, Air Trip, Amazon Express, Citadel of the Skies, Fallen Forest, there's a couple of them, yeah. We can try my 1-1, one, one, simply. It's obviously not the one he intended me to play, but... Uh, more of a classical style here. You never know when you're gonna need a turtle by your side. Less Goombas for everyone. No! I was just about to say that had I died on this, it would have been embarrassing. And what's the first thing I do after thinking that very fault? I die. Let's just jump over the Goombas, and in fact, I think we're gonna try that one again. I feel I can do better on that one. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna break any world records, because I'm not going to do that, but I... I'm definitely... <sighs> far too quick. Far too quick and far too confident. I get the feeling that these goo... These stapled Goombas are the punishment we get for being so overconfident regarding this level. Yeah, that was a far better time. It's not a record time, but it's a good one. Yeah, actually, I like that time. 24... I'm gonna give it a like, because it's very standard, it's short and sweet. We're gonna give it one more try and see if... I can't shave off one second of that time. Nope, not that one at least. So one more try, literally, and then I'm gonna try, see if I can find the other level that he spoke of. Oh, oops, I think I lost my second there. In fact, I'm quite convinced I lost my second there. Almost the same time. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find the level by... ...the level he intended me to play. That one is 29G, that one is 6NG... ...MC... FS2. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't know. Oh, it's, instead of 7G, it should have been JG. That's why it didn't show up. So, inspired of the traditional number of train levels in the forest worlds. We'll try this one then. A spot of water. <laughs> oh. 
that was not the ideal start. Pretty nifty mechanic here. You you have to keep tabs on this thing. Oh my god, the Goomba is drowning! Kill the Goombas before they drown! Death to horrible Goombas! Also, death to horrible Koopa Troopers who won't leave me the fuck alone. Alright, uh, Fidida, uh, yours will then be the last. Uh, I'm, go I'm gonna give this one more try. Since I actually played and completed one of X Credibles several times. So I'm just gonna try and finish this one and then I'll play Fidiidus. I have no idea if, if, how, if, if that is how you pronounce your username. But I'm gonna go with it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong you are... F f feel free to just correct me. But you'll have to do that in the form of a dance interpretation. Of your chat comment. Farewell, Koopa. No! Stop being horrible! I mean, the novelty of a train level is uh, quite interesting considering. No, get off my train. Uh. It's quite interesting, because you kind of expect them to be easier than they are. And then it's ba raining Koopas and uh, Goombas from the sky. And you realize that, fuck. I have very limited space to work on! Crap. Oh, crap. I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Nah, I'm not gonna give this another one. In fact, I'm going on to Fidida's. Uh, level, and then I'm gonna try and do yours, put snarf. It's kinda... It never fails. Every time I feel like, hey, maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should uh, stop streaming for tonight. Then another code goes in, and I'm like, oh, cool, another level. And I basically feel like I have to try it. 64G is the last one. B74... Really never fails. So, Spiral Mountain, Banjo Kazooie, Smash Bros. versions hold left. A world record time of 15 seconds and a clear rate of 65. So, this is, feels like it's gonna be a novelty map, and I am going to be so embarrassed if I don't clear it. I mean, a clear rate of 65%. Even I should be able to make that one. It's a musical stage, like Mario Paint? It's an actual Mario Paint level, that is impressive. <laughs> well, I held right and... Oh crap, I fell down. I mean, I love the idea of this map. That doesn't make me better at playing it, but... I need to re... <laughs> yeah. No! God damn it, my precision is all over the place today. Especially since I... Like I said, it's kind of late for me here. I mean... It makes me feel old to say that, because I, I still remember the time when I could could be online and play games until like... 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, but I'm not that kind of person anymore. 
And it's it's annoying me to bits that even such a thing as fine controlling of Mario in this in this very n lovely novelty map uh, eludes me. I mean, obviously I'll have to. <sighs> Sorry, man. Uh, but I need to cut this a bit short, so I'm gonna jump. Yeah, I'll I'll play this one more try, one more time from the start, and then I'll head to f uh, put Smurf. <laughs> okay, so that 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 is where I that is seems to be where I went wrong the first time. Okay, so I am oh that explains it. I treated it more as an actual level than just the beautiful musical instrument it was. So I think I played too many novelty maps recently. Because, not really novelty, but basically the kind of maps where you just expected to do something. Because, I mean, it's kind of interesting to see when, how stumped I became when I, I realized that, god damn it, I'm actually not supposed to do anything. So, put Smurf, yours will be the last one for tonight. So, DX, D8X. 86p and 8vg and this one will be the last one for tonight because as if uh, it is as he claims and this one is going to be hard uh, okay so world record is 18 seconds clear rate of one second uh, sorry one percent uh, gonna view the comment here uh, and the comment, of course, requires a clear for me to read it. Not for the faint of heart. So basically, completely wrong for me then. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of unfair. Oh, death blocks. Horrible, horrible death blocks. And I had to actually pace myself there to make... God damn it! I realized how important timing is for that first jump, and still I utterly failed to make any headway with, with the actual timing. Okay, so next one. Next one down. Or... The No! <sighs> yeah, I don't really think... I don't know if you have been actually watching my other attempts so far, but it hasn't really been my night. In fact, most of my... Most of my... No! Angry sun! Horrible sun! I don't want a sunburn! In fact, I must say I am pleased enough that I can get... Okay, so... The sun is no danger there. There we go. Okay, I have absolutely no idea how to get onward from here. I think this is uh, where, where, where the land, guys. <laughs> I go right, straight into the death blocks. Yes, that sounds like a lovely idea. And I know they're really called spiky traps, but Angry Video Game Adventures called the mechanic death blocks. And since then I have kinda adapted the term. Because it fits, right? 
death blocks. It's what they do. They kill you. So I, I'm actually starting to think that what that actually was, the thing I jumped down from, was actually an escape ladder to get back up. Okay, so we'll try that one. I never actually saw the vine, so that's probably why I didn't... Okay, so... Oh... Got it. I mean, this level would be annoying enough without that fucker of a sun. <laughs> Alright, from the top. Check. I'm gonna give this a couple of more attempts before I call it a day. But at, le at least this one is interesting, and unlike one, one of the earlier trick map- Oh! Sloppy. Fucking sloppy. <sighs> when it comes to Mario, I easily get insane. And I would go with the classical definition of insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting different fucking results. <sighs> okay, so I got I got a little bit of hang of it now and <laughs> overconfidence on that jump. Fucking overconfidence. No! Hello, Mystics! Sorry, I'm actually not going to take on any more maps for tonight. I've been at this for like an hour and a half, and uh, all it has given me is frustration and a lack of faith in humanity. A humanity that creates Mario levels such as this one. Yes, I'm talking to you, puts not smurf talking to you I feel a very very offended nah actually to be honest this one at least has a clear consistency I mean it's in this this levels it's not really a problem as much as I need to control my jumps in a far better manner it's not like that you need to spin the entire way level I had a couple of a couple of uh, like tw 20 minutes back or something this level at least aside from the death blocks aside from these horrible horrible death blocks and the piranha plants yes I re I know I have to grab it but the thing is I don't feel I have the time to grab it before I die. So, doing my best in that regard. Avoiding that fucking thing. Okay, so... No! <sighs> yes, it's, uh, it's what's kind of good against the plants. Not so much against the death blocks. So... I'm gonna give this a couple of more tries, but then I'm gonna call it a night. But I'm, I must say, this is one level I will actually save and at some point do try to complete. Because first, like I said, it's while it's challenging, you do see where you're supposed to be going. And the... Oh, so now I, now I understand why this part is here as well. As you can see, there are, like, folds that I'm obviously supposed to fo- No! Fucking sun! It's not enough that I get sunburned every fucking day. 
I mean, the sun has to pers pursue me into Mario and ruin what was all already a quite decent attempt at this map. God damn it. But like, like, I don't know if you noticed, but basically he I even may allowed for the tiny, tiny movement that you will need to do with Mario here. No! And then I forget it on the last one. So it, it's quite a brilliant design here. Yeah, I, I understand I am allowed to give up, but right now I feel like I actually have a decent chance at doing this. And every time I feel like I have a decent chance at doing something, misguided or not, and right now it feels very misguided, uh, I usually do not give up. In fact, I only get more cheerful because of it, and it's kind of strange to say that this map actually makes me cheerful, because it, by all means it shouldn't. But the fact is, there is clear progression here. Okay, so you... No! And why did I jump? Why the fuck did I jump? That, that is also a classic mistake I do in Super Mario. My ability... <sighs> and then we have the non-jumping, of course, just to... Just to... The, the fact that I mixed the, the non... Uh, at any rate, the thing I was gonna say was that I have this... Tr no! Now I'm trying to say something, so I'm focusing on what I'm trying to say, and of course that means my my game is going headlong in the shitter. And the problem with this is, I feel I lost my grove. I mean, I had a grove for the first part of the map. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm not sure I can come back from this. <laughs> we'll see. Silly son! Oh god, no. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna give this two more attempts. And let's try and sober up a bit for those, right? Okay, sun goes below. Sun goes below. And we do give this another try. And the thing I was gonna mention earlier is how I seemingly get starts jumping in the most inopportune times in Super Mario. So Oh, fucking sun! That sun ruins everything for me! Ah, overconfidence. Yes. Alright. One more. But this time I actually mean it with one more, because I don't think I can get away with shouting all over the living room for that much longer. And I f okay. Yes, I understood, I understood that. You can usually look at the record time and get a decent feeling for how, how long a map is going to be. Okay, that was a false start. One more try. One more try. If I keep shout, <laughs> okay, okay. God damn it! This this is so annoying because this is on me. I mean, <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. And I gotta say, it's actually a very clever map because it's difficult without being frustrating. The reason I find this frustrating is not due to the map's design, because believe me, people have sent me asshole maps. And uh, this is not an asshole map. This is a map that actually has some fucked into it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to like this map. In fact, I might actually add you as favorite maker, because this map has a clear structure of what you're supposed to do, but that's oh, f that structure is also quite obvious. So you see what you need to do. You may need to execute some precision moves in order to get there. And any frustration is not because the map maker has chosen to say that, hey, this map is going to be difficult. So yeah, sorry, I might actually have to cut cut the cut cut this short now. But I'm like I said, I'm gonna add this to likes, and that is going to be the last one. I'm very. It's not actually criticism as much as it is praise. Ah, that was the only map you had ever made, but at least now, next time you make a map, I will know of it instantly. So, take care, and I will simply leave you with this. <laughs>